All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sand this gas tank down, and then after I'm done sanding it down, I'm going to um, seal it. I'm going to mix up Tamco primer, and I'm going to put reducer in it and use it as a, as a non as a non sanding sealer. Um, they say that you can do that with their product, and uh, then I will actually um, let it. You know, it's not a wet on wet. You got to put it on, let it completely dry, and then go over that with the satin paint that I'm going to use. So I'm going to do it that way. Use it as a DTM sealer, and uh, that works okay. Um, it is paint. This this stuff is inside. This stuff is just hard as a rock, if you're wondering. I mean, the inside of this tank is just like super strong. It adds some strength to the tank, so if you have a kind of a weak tank that uh, Pour 15, or even Tamco also has one too, a tank gas tank sealer. I haven't used hers yet, but um, that stuff just makes that tank strong again, and it should be fine for years and years to come. So. I'm going to go ahead and sand it down and paint it, and we'll let you guys be in the sideline and take a look at it. All right, so that kind of how that turned out. It ain't nothing special. Just uh, some of the roughness and the rust. I wasn't trying to get it all smoothed out or anything because literally you can't even see anything but this edge and that edge and that neck. The rest of it behind the fan shroud. So I just wanted to make it so that you look back there and see gray. And it looks kind of smooth. That's all I was looking for. Nothing much. So I found a set of these. Oh my goodness. You guys would not believe what I paid for these. Oh man. They're just so ridiculous. But I just thought, you know what? I've got some, they're really nice seat frames and there's a lot more than I wanted to pay. But, uh, in fact, they're probably the original seats that came out of this. I think I saw a picture of this thing when I bought it that had the tops of the seats and they looked about in this condition and uh probably bought them back for twice the price or whatever from a different guy of course uh, he's had them for a while but i don't know how long this guy had this bus so that was a lot of money so i guess i'll continue on maybe i'll get these prepped here those windows maybe this one here i could actually finish up these and do them I'm not sure what I'm going to do on there. Uh, yeah, I could do this this jam here. I could do these faces. Um, I'm not going to fill these holes because I think we're going to get something that's going to... Actually, that's for the little spring thing that goes across there. And then these are for the curtains, or outer ones for the curtain. I don't know where the outer... Oh, that one got covered up. There's the outer one up there for the curtain rods, so we'll make those and put them up. And then uh, we're going to get some windows. I got one, Jalouise, Jalouise, I don't know how you say it, window. 
So <laughs> one of them I got coming. We'll see. They're so, so ridiculously expensive. I think I'm going to make them. So anyway, we're going to move on. Maybe I'll get some more jams painted. I'll talk to you in the next portion. Scuff this all down real quick with some 320. So I just scuffed it down real quick. Don't worry about overspray on the floor. Just gonna shoot these two out, these little sections out real quick. And that's it. One coat of sealer, one coat of base, one coat of clear. That's all she gets. All right, so I'm going to put a real fine mist of the paint over here. I put just two coats of the, of the you know, the color I made, which is pretty close. But uh, anyway, you can see back there in the corner a little bit. It's almost the same color. Okay, good enough. A little light coat. That's all I need. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get this in one really light coat of clear. Uh, the reason is because most of that gets covered with curtains, um, window trim, um, there's lights there. It just really makes no sense to put two coats and try and, you know, the thickness or anything. It's just uh, basically to make it so that your hand prints don't mark the wall. So.
Boy, did I get that down to the exact amount I needed. Oh well, no extra. Just enough. I sprayed it with two turns out really slow and really light. Just enough to make it so that it's pretty smooth with like almost no orange peel, you know. Can't go too wet on a first coat. So if you do, you'll get runs all over the place, so. Any good way, that's good enough for interior. Anyway, let's take a look at it in a little bit. So I misted this on with really low pressure. Uh, that's what I was uh, doing. That's why I was going so slow. And I used, uh, it was only at about, um, well, I think 16 or maybe 20, 20 pounds. With that gun, really, you need to be up at around 28 pounds. That's the Harbor Freight uh, Spectrum. That works pretty good. If you have it up, you got to have it up all the way. Not like the Tecna. I mean, you can run the Tecna at about 16. It'll spray about the same as this one does at 20. So, all right, 20, 28. So, so you can, uh, it looks pretty good. There's no, just a little bit, tiny bit of orange peel, real fine orange peel I put in it. And like I said, it's all going to get covered up. It's going to get curtains and stuff in here. So there's really no sense in making this look perfect and have like no orange peel it's perfectly smooth you're never going to see it so anyway uh that's it for this anyway yeah it's getting a little dark it was a little hard to see in here yeah in case you can see it's getting dark outside and uh and with these with this in here with that light it's hard to see so it's kind of hard to see so probably some curtains will come down overnight a couple of spots maybe but then again i'm going to put there's going to be lights right here where those wires hang out there's lights that go there they're tall and narrow and then there's curtains that go beside those and then there's curtain rods that go across the top and there's a spring thing that goes along the bottom so pretty much everything gets covered up and then there's a molding that comes out to about right here around each window if i can make it all i don't know if i can so 
I got some got one of these windows coming. I'll see what it looks like. I'm not sure how to make them yet, so they're kind of tricky, but they're not that not as bad as what you think. They're people think they're really impossible to make something like that, but it, I don't think it is. I think it's, it can be done pretty fairly easily. That's it. I'll talk to you guys. That's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to make the comments, and I can't wait to see this thing all done. It's going to be really gorgeous. I'm going to throw in here real quick. If you stick around, I'll throw a little clip in of another one of these, a 67 Westphalia I just saw the other day. And check it out, and see, let me know what you think on that. Talk to you in the next one. Yeah, those windows there. Hopefully we're going to make these. Got one, that come, one of them coming. See how they fit. This is what we're looking at finishing out to. This is a and uh, this is a pop top Westie though. It's, so it's kind of look we're going for, but I think mine's a little bit less yellow than this original color. Take a quick video of this.